Hello, Aubrey. My name is Detective Latham. How are you feeling? Okay, I'm saying that I'm not really feeling anything right now, Detective Latham. That's fine. I just have a few questions to ask you about the events leading up to what happened tonight. Tell me about Quinn. Look, my team's looking through your camera. Everything's on it, right? I think. I, I believe most of it. Listen, it is extremely important you tell us everything that happened tonight because there are some people that think you were actually in on this. So tell me about Quinn. We were friends. She left town. We lost touch. That's the same story you told the last three guys that were in here. But I think you know what I'm asking you. Before tonight, when was the last time you saw Quinn? She went, uh, she left town in 2014 for San Diego, and uh, she showed up a few days ago when I was in the fall. No, of course I can do that. And the shoot gets me a pass and an interview, right? Marina Sanchez is gonna be there. Am I interviewing Marina Sanchez? No, of, of course, that's okay. Um, uh, I'll, I'll get you my paperwork ASAP. Um, I'll forward you my info. Listen, I, I have to go. Um, thank, thank you so much. When? What? What the hell? What are you doing here? I just got back. I know I had to see you. <laughs> Dude, you, you came at the best time. Uh, I haven't heard from you in like what months? Um, oh, this is insane. Guess what? Judging by the size of it, you somehow managed to afford a three-bedroom in Brooklyn. No, uh, my, my roommates are in Vegas for a wedding. You were invited? Dude, you gotta catch up. Soon everyone will be married, and we'll be all alone playing video games. I mean, granted, we'll have each other, right? <laughs> this thing isn't on, is it? Um, no. I don't think so. Our forensics team confirmed that we were able to recover that part of the film. Look, I'm not in any trouble, am I? That's not for me to decide. I have a few more questions. More? Yeah, our department needs to ensure that you had no preemptive cooperation in Quinn's plans. <sighs> I, I'll, I'll tell you anything. I'll, I'll do anything to prove I'm innocent. Do you ever feel that Quinn took advantage of you? Dude, listen, okay? I am going to interview Marina Sanchez. Shut up. Marie, that's why the song's on repeat? Oh, oh my god. They were right. The stars really did align. What do you mean by that? Well, everything. The trees, the water, the animals, all of it in San Diego was telling me that I had to come back and get a job done. You would give me the answers. They have some your acid over there, huh? It's not that. You and me, we, we've always had this connection. We've helped each other in ways that we've never experienced before from anyone, or even after. That's why I came. You've always helped me. I, I have a favor to ask. Quinn, is everything okay? There are bad, bad people in the city. Wasteful individuals and bad influences on society. And we are gonna do something about it. You see, you got the connections. I have the manpower. Together we have the guts. We always made such a good team before. I don't know why we can't do it again. Quinn, you sound a little manic. Where are you going with this? We're gonna get rid of Marina Sanchez. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, what do you mean? I mean this pathetic world needs to be cleansed. I see a society that we can change for the better. So many people try, but they fail because there's no execution. Do you get what I'm trying to say? 
to make a change, <laughs> they've got to remember our names. But to change it, you have to take risks. A lot of risks. So why Marina? Do you realize how insane this sounds? Marina is the new John Lennon. She thinks she's a god. She thinks she's better than me. And better than you. And she needs to learn that bitches get stitches isn't just some 90s phrase. People like her need to be held accountable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where are the cameras? When you... The only insane thing is how dismissive you are about all this. Okay, that's it. I, um... <clears throat> I think... I think you... Listen. I'm gonna be back in a few days. You should understand by then. Star said that you would understand by then. But we're back together again, and hopefully we'll be working together real soon. Oh, I missed you, Aubrey. Aubrey. Sorry, um, this is just a lot all at once. Why didn't you go to the police? I thought about going to the police. I also thought that Quinn would be crazy enough to find out and um, come kill me in my sleep or something. I haven't been sleeping much, to be honest. I didn't think this was gonna happen. Genuinely, I, I, I thought Quinn had just lost it. You know, that's what we're here for, right? I mean, we do wellness checks for a reason. You have to understand, this looks like you were aiding a conspiracy to murder. I mean, do you know how bad that looks, Aubrey? But I didn't do it. I, I realized how crazy it sounded and I was gonna go to the police the day I interviewed Marina. Yes, Marina, that is great. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're doing great. Thanks. Your tour starts, what, on next week? Yeah, it's gonna be grueling, but... I mean, if if you're out and you just wanna hang out, just call me. I'll be back in town, like, in January. Yeah. Come backstage. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, you look, you look great. Yes, that'd be amazing. Could that be my driver looking like that? Um, I'll, I'll go check. Okay. Um. You were supposed to meet her today, weren't you? Where is she? What are you talking about? It's where all right people talk. <laughs> See, I knew you would come around. <laughs> just make this quick and, and painless and just make it No. I, I don't understand. You've never said no to me before. <laughs> God damn it, Aubrey! This is the start of a better thing for the both of us. For all of us? Yeah. Yeah, because being stuck in a world with you is totally something that I want. So this is what you want? Lying with whores and thieves? This is how you want to live? Yeah. If it means getting away from you, maybe. <sighs> Look at you acting like one of them. You know, you say that you don't want to live in a society like this, but you won't do anything about it. It's pathetic. How do you know what I want? Hmm? Normal people change. Normal people grow up. Normal people don't bring guns to shoot famous But I'm saving There's you! There's nothing to save, you crazy bitch! Aubrey, what the hell is going on here? 